Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brian. Today, I got some news I want to share with you, and it's also concerning the pour I'm going to do today. So I've got two special things happening for the upcoming uh, holiday season. I am a member of a art association here where I live, and we have an opportunity to put all of our art in a vacant store, and all the artists who make different types of art can have the opportunity to sell their art, and it gives you exposure. So uh, uh, some examples of the art community that I belong to is they do like um, doll clothes. They make soaps, uh, 3D printing of different uh, images. So um, they did a, tr a, ch a chess set. Um, but I am the only fluid artist in the association. So I'm very, very excited about that because I get to showcase my art and have an opportunity to be able to sell it to people who come into a store. So that's kind of fun. I've also belonged to a local art gallery here in my town. And they've put a call out that they want all artists, excuse me, there's stuff flying in here. They want uh, any artist that wishes to participate, you can submit an item for a Christmas exhibition and sale. So they've got parameters around the size and what you can do. So today, what I decided to do is a grenade pour, but I'm doing it on a 16 by 40 canvas. That's gonna be the largest lengthwise canvas that I've done to date. And doing it with a grenade pour is gonna be very, very challenging, and I'll show you why. So uh, for all those subscribers that are already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for your support. If you're a new watcher, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. Leave me a comment below. And let me know what you think of this piece. I'm very, very excited for you to see this. So, all right, guys, I'll get you down on the can uh, canvas. We'll talk about the canvas size. We'll talk about the colors. It's going to be fun. All right, guys, I will be right back. Here we go. I have a 16 by 40 gallery wrap canvas. It is taped on the back, got push pins in. For a 16 by 40 canvas, we're going to need 23 ounces of paint to cover the entire canvas. Because I'm doing a grenade pour, I am going to use four different cups of paint. Now, I'm going to put them one here here, here, and here. So I can tilt each section around and come up with something that I hope is gonna be really, really delicious. So each cup, I'm going to need about six ounces of paint. I have some eight ounce cups. I've got push pins in the side so I can fill those cups up. Now, my think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to layer them all in the same order but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn them around. So I'll put one lip of it this way that I poured from and one lip this way. I'll explain it more. So let's talk about these colors. These colors are gorgeous. I'm very happy to use them. I have used them in another pour before. So I really wanted to give this uh, piece uh, uh, for the Christmas uh, exhibition and sale for the art gallery. So the colors I am using today our Deco Art 24 karat gold and the Americana Decor. I'm using Golden's Fluids Dioxazine Purple. I'm using Pebeo Studio Acrylics Iridescent Green Yellow. I am using Artist Law Flow Acrylic in the black. I am using Artist Law Flow Acrylic in the white. Also mixed in some Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels White. Uh, this color I'm really happy about. So I'm using uh, Amsterdam's Permanent Red Violet and I've mixed it with Treasure Gold's Fire Opal. I'll show you that color in a second. And then I'm using Liquitex Basics Cerulean Blue. Um, I've mixed all of my paints with the mixed pour 
that you can get from Krista Rasmussen at Krista8974 at gmail.com. So I used 10 ounces of mix and four ounces of paint. This is that uh, re permanent red violet and the fire opal mixed. You get this beautiful cranberry color, just gorgeous. And you can see the paint here, it just uh, makes a mound on top of a mound and settles inside itself. Sophia, really? You guys are gonna play now while I'm doing this video? Sorry guys, I know you could probably hear her in the back. They're all playing, it's rainy outside today, so they are not outside playing. But anyways, like I said, this is making a mound on top of a mound. I did not have to add any water to these paints in the mix. It is strictly mix, pour, and paint. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, oh, and I also painted the sides so I get good coverage on my edges. That way I don't have white canvas poking back through. This paint is the permanent red violet and the fire opal mixed together, just paint alone coming straight out of the tubes, not mixed with mix. All right, I'm gonna move this forward, get it out of the way, and we can start mixing our paints. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need to put some paint in here to get them to stand up straight. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna put a little gold in the bottom of each cup. That's not gonna work. So let's just pour a little bit. So when you're thinking about colors for Christmas, you think reds and whites, some greens, some, uh, some darker colors, some black. So I think about uh, Santa Claus Christmas suit, you know? So that's kind of where I'm going with all of this. I'm hoping this comes out well. So I put a little bit of that. Now we're gonna put the dioxazine purple. I figured I'd put about two layers of the colors in. Green. Some black. Now I don't want to use a lot of black. We're gonna use the red. And I'm okay if I end up getting more paint in these cups. I can always tilt it off. Just don't want to be in a position where I'm like, oh, I wish I would have had more paint on the canvas. Gold now. Purple. Definitely got more paint in here. <laughs> I only needed six ounces of paint and I'm gonna fill these up to eight. And that's just me not layering evenly. Okay, so. I poured in from this side, so my first cup I'm gonna pour with this lip going towards the camera. Now, I'm gonna try to flip this, but I think it's gonna spill because it's filled up to the brim. So I want, oh, actually, let's wait. I want to pour on top of a little gold.
It's gonna to be towards me on this one. Second cup. Towards you on the third one. And towards me on the fourth. Definitely oozed out because I had my cup way too full. That's okay. So what happens is I've got these push pins in the cups. And when I flip the paint over onto the canvas, they have now created a suction to the canvas. When I pull the pins out of the cups, it's going to help release the suction and the paint is going to flow out from the bottom of the cup down onto the canvas. What I'm doing, I'm kind of just letting them sit here for a few minutes to allow some of the paint to fall. Because when I release these, the cups are going to travel just a little. All right, I'll let these sit for about three minutes now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling the pins. That. So the paint, that one's released. That one's released, and boom, the cups. See the cups are starting to slide around a little bit. custom-made cranberry color, thin it down a little bit, add my flow extender. So this way my paints will not, uh, as I'm tilting them, they don't eat each other as they're tilting. If I use my flow extender and thin it out a little bit, um, put your flow extender down, then that will allow these paints to run without eating themselves. And I'm gonna torch just for some air bubbles. They're popping up there. All right, let's get to tilting.
definitely want to submit this piece so I'm hoping 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 everything dries good enough one thing I need to do I'm gonna touch up my corners scrape my edges and I'm gonna torch all right guys I will bring you in and let you see a close-up of this this is absolutely stunning I cannot wait for this to dry so I can submit it to the art gallery. Let me bring you in. I will show you what this looks like. I will be right back. All right, guys, here is with the lights off. Look at the shimmer from the gold and the beautiful cells that really popped in here. I'm loving this. All right, guys, I will let you see this when it is dry. All right, everyone, here is the dried result. Um, I let this dry a few more days before I made this video, so it's no longer tacky, which is awesome. But look at the colors through this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I can't wait to get this submitted to the art gallery. I hope it does well in the exhibition. Um, I have another piece I'm gonna make for the exhibition as well, because we're allowed to submit two pieces. But I'll bring you in for a quick close-up. I'm loving how this came out. All those cells are just beautiful. I'm so happy. I just cannot get over this. So, all right, everyone, as always, my pieces are available for purchase, including this one. If you like what you see, hit that like. 
button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. If you are interested in purchasing any of my art, you can email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.